welcome, uh, Foreign Minister, to uh, World News Today. Let me put to you uh, that from pictures taken after your defeat of the Tamil Tigers. We can look at those pictures now. First of all, we have uh, graves of the LTTE lined up very clearly. We can see them on that image there. Then we move to another picture, which shows mounds of apparent civilians who have been killed during the operation against the Tamil Tigers. And we zoom in at this point to see a large number of mounds there, which are believed to contain civilians. Why are you shying away from an independent investigation if your forces are not responsible for these deaths? I think uh, you had to get to your facts right. You just show mountains of graves, etc., just coming out of an area occupied by the LTT all this time and trying to blame the government of Sri Lanka in terms of the ones who are lying there? I didn't blame anyone. I said, that why aren't you that is allowing no, an the line of investigation? investigation? Okay, fine. Get this right. We have had an engagement for the last 30 years. Today we have got 300,000 people in the hands of the government being cared by the government of Sri Lanka but, in terms we of We know IDPs. that, uh, Foreign Minister. And what that's what, to, I want what, to what I'm trying to do, though, is find out why you won't have an independent investigation Obviously, into how many people have actually been killed. What is necessary is to know how many, in fact, died during this period. And we know how the LTT was treating the civilians. The civilians who are now in the IDP uh, villages will be speaking in terms of what they have gone through in the hands of the LTT. And that is the type of uh, development that is taking place in the country where even Prabhakaran's own parents have been cared for by the government of Sri Lanka who has come over to the government control area during the time of the conflict. But you and, you and, you, you and your government and your ministers have routinely challenged us as broadcasters and also many of the the NGOs and the United Nations on the figures, about 250,000 civilians. You said maybe 130 to 150,000 civilians, but now your figure appears to be 300,000 civilians. You've just said it. You appear to have almost been disingenuous with the numbers. You must have known. We have to look at who took the people into the no-fire zone. They were entrapped by the LTT and we have been maintaining all throughout whoever who is there irrespective of the numbers it will be our responsibility to exercise the humanitarian mission to rescue them and we did carry out our humanitarian mission and we were able to rescue the 300,000 people who were entrapped by the LTT and the kept numbers by, by the Minister. numbers that's what I'm coming to I said whatever the numbers it was our responsibility to rescue them irrespective of whether it was 150,000 or 100,000 did you massage the numbers <laughs> downwards for but, political purposes Purposes. What is the purpose that we achieve? When we have got the numbers coming out as 300,000, credit comes to us to have rescued 300,000, not 150,000. And whatever the numbers, it was our responsibility to rescue them. And we continue to do the same thing because there are people that were entrapped by the LTT who were the terrorists. And they were keeping these people, innocent people, as, as a human shield. Now, and Minister, who helped us to go that far? It is we who went that far in not to rescue them. And today we can be proudly speaking of the numbers to whom we are but there shelter. are still grave concerns. I have reports in front of me, including from Human Rights Watch and other non-governmental organizations, concerned about what really happened in that no-fire zone. Why will you not in allow independent investigators in? Journalists, there's no point taking them on a government tour. We need to have access, as do independent observers, to find out what really happened. To whom are we accountable as a country to our people? The 300,000 people who are in the villages, in the welfare villages, who have been cared for us is the, our responsibility. It is their relatives who have been killed by the LTT all this time. It is they who suffered, not the international the, the, the community in terms of ones who suffered physically, but the ones who lived in that area. It is they who, to whom that we are going to answer and they are the ones who are part of our progress for the future.